Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be adding additional M2 SSD in my Lenovo Legion 5. Let me show you the model here. If you turn it around, take a closer look at the bottom left corner. In the middle, it says Legion 5 Pro. That is the laptop here I have, and I'll be adding additional the secondary M2 in the laptop. All right, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be using the 1.5 millimeter Phillips screwdriver. You got to remove all the screws. The screws are longer on the top and in the middle. And at the bottom here is a lot shorter. So once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to go ahead and get the back cover removed. I'll be using a metal prying tool, stick it in between that little plastic cover. Use my plastic prying tool to separate them. Try not to make a scratch by using the metal prying tool. So use the plastic if you can, and just kind of lift it up in this direction. Now the hard drive is installed in first slot, and you do have a secondary slot, which you can add more storage capacity. This is what we are doing right now. So using a same screwdriver, we're gonna remove three screws. Once that three screws are removed, you then now can remove, sorry, four screws. That's the one more screw here. So once you have removed all the four screws, you then now can remove the heat sink. That is the heat sink and that is thermal pad. What you can do is you slide the M2 NVMe SSD at 45 degree angle, slide it in. And there's a screw here. They pre-install it for you. So what you can do is remove it, install that secondary drive, and close it down. Once the hard drive is installed, go ahead and get the heat sink, install back in with the four screws. Once you install a secondary hard drive, you definitely need to go to disk management, initialize the hard disk, and and do a quick format on it, okay? So when you install, it doesn't mean the hard drive will just work immediately. You will still have to go to the disk management and initialize the disk, format the disk, and then you can use it, okay? So in this video, I just strictly do the hardware installation. I'm not going to do the disk uh, management to initialize it, but you should be able to do it by right click the start menu, that little window start menu icon, right click and go to disk management and find the right disk. Do not initialize or uninstall that C drive. The C drive is a primary. You want to do it on that drive that you just installed a new drive. Okay. Now I'm just putting back all the screws together and that should be it. Again, thanks for watching the video. If you do find the video is helpful, please smash the like button for me. I really appreciate it. Uh, that's all I'm asking. And uh, if you have any question, comment below. I do read the comments and I'll try to answer any of the computer uh, question that you have. Okay, thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.